Hi guys, it's SBYT and it's that time of the year again. No, I'm not talking about the post-Christmas and New Year lull, when the world feels like it's closing in and sucking the joy from our hearts. I'm talking the complete opposite. I'm talking about excitement, I'm talking about new beginnings. I am, of course, talking about CES, when the whole of the tech world goes ruddy crazy with new announcements and product launches. Now, personally, I have been lucky enough to attend CES in Vegas in previous years, but this time around, due to the global situation, I've decided to cover the event from here here in the UK at home in a more virtual capacity. Now, although it might not be quite as glitzy being here in drizzly cold UK compared to Las Vegas, Nevada, it does mean I can keep tabs on all of the virtual events that are happening, including the ones from today's video sponsor, Asus, the 4th and 5th of January, the next couple of days, where they will be announcing some of their brand new tech products. And if some of their previous devices are anything to go by, you might want to take note, stick the information in your calendar and watch along. And if you do enjoy this video and find it helpful, then why not subscribe and turn on the notifications so you know when I post. I'm excited about what's to come because I personally have been using this ASUS ROG Zephyrus M16 gaming laptop on and off over the last few months for all things Windows, and on the whole, it's been a joy. I've absolutely loved using the 16-inch 165Hz Quad HD screen, as the 16 by 10 aspect ratio is a perfect halfway house for media consumption, content creation, and gaming. And while we're on gaming, the Adaptive Sync eradicates screen tearing, making for even smoother gameplay by syncing the refresh rate with the GPU's frame rate and the three millisecond response time helps to keep the image clean with no visible ghosting. The DCI-P3 color gamut offers up really vivid colors and while 500 nits peak brightness isn't the most I've seen on a display. I have been able to use it outdoors and indoors. This laptop display just looks really sharp and vibrant. It's also matte, so reflections are reduced. Great if you're gaming in a room with bright lights behind you, etc. The list of ports available are more than adequate with two USB Type A's, two Type C's, one Thunderbolt 4, a headphone jack, Ethernet, HDMI, DC power, and a micro SD card slot all present. The RGB keyboard has been a joy to type on with plenty of travel on the keys without feeling mushy, and the glass touchpad is one of the best I've used on a Windows laptop. I would personally like to see larger arrow keys, but the integrated power button and fingerprint scanner works well, and speakers either side of the keyboard are again some of the best in the industry. Now in terms of hardware internals, I'm so excited to see where ASUS take us this year, because again, if this is anything to go by, we could have some monster machines on our hands. The M16 comes equipped with Intel's Core i9 11th gen processor, 32 gigabytes of RAM, and not only have I been able to edit 4K video on Premiere Pro on here, um, open multiple Chrome tabs at the same time, but also been able to jump in and out of some serious gaming sessions, all without really breaking a sweat. And in fact, the only real strain I've noticed on the machine is actually more from an audible audio, audible, or point of view, uh, in the fact that the fan noise can be, under heavy load, fairly obvious. I suppose one of the caveats of having uh, a powerful machine like this in this light and thin form factor. You can actually, if you want to, effectively disable the fans by using the Armoury Crate shortcut key, as in here, you can choose silent mode. I have used this if I am browsing the internet or watching a video, for example, where I want peace and quiet but performance and turbo modes are there if you want added power. If you do decide to run the laptop in heavy duty style, I would advise plugging the laptop into a power source for optimum output because the 90 watt hour battery will take a hit. Gaming laptops aren't often renowned for having the best battery life on the market for obvious reasons. And while the M16 has decent battery, it has its limitations under heavy load. Now, although as stated under peak performance, this isn't a silent machine, the 86 blade arc flow fans do help to effectively keep the laptop cool enough to maintain really high performance. Furthermore, liquid metal thermal compound and six heat pipes are just a ticket if you're about to embark on a serious session. Finally, ASUS's self-cleaning 2.0 helps reduce the accumulation of dust to ensure effective airflow through the machine. And this is aided by the intuitive design whereby the base lifts off the resting surface as the lid rotates back on the hinge. The hinge rotates a full 180 degrees and the laptop can be opened and adjusted with just one hand. An underrated feature for sure. Love it. On top of this, the some would say aggressive overall matte black, dare I say sexy design and finish with the RGB colored reflections that shimmer in the light make this Zephyrus M16 a great but attractive and stylish all round gaming laptop. And I still think a decent buy in 2022. 
But let's wait to see what Asus have for us at the CES virtual events because there could be some Hulk machines coming our way. Again, all the information will be left in the video description. Make sure you check out those virtual events because uh, if you're into gaming, then uh, there might be some devices for you. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and love everything tech. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Test Peace out. Don't just